We have seen so many non-controversies, you would think at some point we would build up a little bit of an immunity towards it. You would think that eventually we would come out with a vaccine that would immunize these oversensitive clowns from being outraged over nothing. But then you see a story that comes out that lets you know there is no bottom to this barrel. There is no non-controversy that is non-controversial enough that somebody won't be offended by, that won't become news across this platform, that won't somehow bleed into the mainstream news and that's what we're going to talk about today because PewDiePie did the grave sin of making a joke in the direction of a deaf person that had nothing to do with that person being deaf. It's ridiculous, it's absurd, it's insane, and we're going to talk about it. But of course, this video is sponsored, so we're going to toss it over to the sponsor. Let me give it a little toss, and then we're going to bring it back over here, and then we'll talk about it on the other side. There is a new study out, 1,100 participants, and the data strongly suggests that collagen can help reduce the signs of aging. We're talking wrinkles, we're talking better looking hair, we're talking better looking nails, and this is one of the reasons why I've been taking collagen for so long because I believe this to be working and now it's backed up by the science but not all collagen powders are created equal there's actually five different collagen types and the ones that you'll find at the store often won't even have more than one of them this is why I highly recommend health with justice this powder is the tops and the great thing about it is it's so easy to use one scoop every single day you can do it with your smoothie in the morning I do it with my coffee because it does a weird thing to my coffee and I kind of like it and you can get the effects of reduced aging signs skin elasticity, reduce wrinkles, better hair, nail, and skin, all can be yours for 50% off at healthwithjustice.com. 60-day money-back guarantee. That is healthwithjustice.com. Well, I was at a drive through and it has, like, the people where they stand outside and they take your order before you go up to, like, the window. So I pull up and I roll my window down. And this lady, when I... No, I'm not listening to this. Look, she has your crazy nails, my aunt. So anyway, what I did was... I went outside, and then I peed, and then I pooped a little bit as well, and it was crazy. Sorry, am I nails distracting you guys? So I've already spoiled the premise of this video by telling you that the girl with the long nails, who is a storytime TikToker, because I guess that plague has moved on to TikTok, is actually somebody who's deaf. And even though I didn't know that she was signing and I couldn't tell that she was signing just by watching the video, it turns out that she was, and PewDiePie was not into it. He was not having it. He didn't even realize that she was deaf. He was just off-put by the clanking of the nails, so he said he wasn't going to watch this. Then he went to his dog and started making fun of the way she was moving her hands with her nails by saying that the nails are like the dog. Now, to be clear, PewDiePie does this all the time. He does this reaction thing with his dog to multiple different people, and he uses the same exact voice for his dog every single time. Now, whether or not you think that that dog voice is actually him making fun of the deaf girl deaf voice, which, by the way, I didn't even notice was a deaf person voice. Like, usually, you know, they can't hear their own voice, so their volume's a little out of pitch or whatever, whatever, but typically, it's not nearly as coherent or, you know, within tune. I don't, I don't know what the phrase is, but it's more noticeable than this. So this girl actually does a fantastic job of dealing with the fact that she can't hear herself talk, therefore she doesn't know her own volume, which is great. Honestly, I got nothing to say to her anything bad related to that. But again, PewDiePie wasn't making fun of anything except for the nails clanking, and the nails are outrageously long. And I have something to say about this, because I actually know somebody in my personal life who has those outrageously long nails, and I often poke fun at them, but in a nice way, even though I do find them incredibly weird. And I always think about how difficult it must be to do certain everyday tasks with those nails. But that's the thing. That's what he made fun of. It had nothing to do with her being disabled. It had nothing to do with her race. Even though on Twitter, people are saying that PewDiePie was attacking her because she was black once the death thing wasn't flying. It was a thing in his video. It was about 20 seconds. And by the way, when he found out that people were outraged that he dare speak it to a deaf person, he actually removed it and explained it. And there the controversy should have died. First of all, it should have never existed in the first place. Nobody should have been off put by it. It was a funny joke. He wasn't into it. He wasn't into the story. He dropped out immediately, did his little dog thing. That wasn't that funny, but people find dogs cute. That should have been the end of the tale. But unfortunately, it's never the end of the tale. So the girl at the subject of the video 
decided that she was going to go after PewDiePie and educate him on something, something, who cares, whatever. Let's roll into the clip. Hey, everybody has been blowing my phone up about this, so let's talk about it. Well, apparently, there's a big YouTuber named like PewDie, whatever. I don't know his name. So first of all, she opens it by saying she doesn't know who PewDiePie is. This is a technique that all the little kids use all around the schoolyard to basically say that the person they're talking about is irrelevant. And in the content creator world, it is just as obnoxious as it is on the schoolyard, if not more so. That being said, PewDiePie obviously has a way larger fan base than this random TikTok person. He is the most subscribed to individual on YouTube. But no, I don't count T-Series. Yes, I'm still on that train. We must stand up for the individual YouTubers. So her doing this jab at him at the beginning just shows how petty and immature this person actually is. But then it gets into even more ridiculous territory because other than playing the victim, she also talks about the cause that she's advocating for. But he made like a reaction video to one of my TikToks making fun of like my nails, making fun of my signs with his dog, and then like I guess at one point mocking my voice. So how do I feel? I feel like it was very weird and very unnecessary, but at the same time, I wasn't surprised I'm used to it. It's been a big issue in the deaf community. I've been trying to like normalize and put it out that using nails while signing it's normal, like, it's okay. I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that. I need to play that video back one more time. It's been a big issue in the deaf community. I've been trying to, like, normalize and put it out that using nails while signing is normal, like, it's okay. Yes, that was actually in her video. That is the thing that she said to you guys out there in the audience. That is her goal in life as an activist, to normalize long nails while signing. And I have to say... Congratulations. Honestly and genuinely, I am legitimately happy that this is the cause that she's advocating for. But then a big creator comes on here and puts us like a million steps back, so it's very frustrating. I feel like if any other hearing person was telling this story but they had long nails on but they didn't need a sign to get their point across, he would have listened to the full story and maybe even had a laugh. But because I had to sign to communicate and I had long nails on, he like stopped the video after like two seconds, didn't even listen to the story, and then after that proceed to like make fun of me signing. Because if your biggest struggle in life, if your thing that you need to change about the world is normalizing sign language with long nails then we have no more causes. There's nothing to advocate for. Activists need to sit down. The West is good. We've solved every actual problem. And now we just have people inventing new problems. Even people with disabilities that you would think might have some stuff that they need to deal with in our society apparently can also have no real problems because the thing that they seek to normalize is using sign language with long nails, which apparently is stigmatized because, you know, everything that is not specifically what you would typically expect is automatically stigmatized and we need to undo the stigma because you know what's really bad in our society stigma you know it's the number one thing that's definitely got a stigma that you definitely know about already if you're out there in the world and on the internet.com sign languaging with long nails the cause is joined i am on board i'm in for the normalization of this i am not going to learn sign language nor am i going to have the long nails but that doesn't mean that i don't take the cause just as seriously as everybody else in the United States of America. With his dog. Maybe he didn't know I was doing sign language. Maybe he just didn't like my long nails. That's okay. A lot of people don't like them. That's fine. They're not for you. If that were the case, he should have just been like, oh, I do not like her nails and just skip the video. But instead, he chose to watch the video, stop it, and was like, oh, her nails are too much. And then he proceeded to like mock me doing sign language, which showed he knew I was doing sign. What? Look, you can be offended by what PewDiePie did, which was nothing. You can go out of your way to intentionally make your yourself the victim in that scenario you can be outraged by this you can use this as a platform to get yourself more attention i mean that's what social media is all about let's be honest there's a reason i'm putting pewdiepie in the thumbnail of this video but in reality there's no cause here there's no greater purpose there's nothing that needs to be changed about the world in this situation and all that is ultimately end up being proved by this situation is sometimes overcoming adversity does not build character sometimes you could just be as petty as childish as infantile as this person even if you have to overcome something that the majority of the population doesn't have to deal with look i wish this person all the success in the world honestly i bear her no ill will i think it's a little bit ridiculous 
ridiculous that she decided to do this whole statement about how she's offended about a joke that clearly was not about her disability, but whatever, whatever, I have no ill will, no malice, nor do I care about anybody who's ever existed on TikTok. But overall, as a society, should we eventually stop? Should we eventually say, okay, this is not a thing to be outraged over? Should we stop attacking PewDiePie for things that he says that are clearly taken out of context, interpreted in the absolute worst way possible, intentionally, in order to include him in headlines of articles that list a bunch of his other non-scandals that are non-scandalous and just as ridiculous as this one, just so we could drive clicks to our websites, to our YouTube channels, to our whatever, whatever? Can we wrap it up? Can we pack it in? Can we move on? Now that we've learned that there are no causes in the world, because again, this girl's goal is to normalize signing with long nails, which is stigmatized by the deaf community. Everybody's got a community now. Not saying that there aren't communities of deaf people, but I'm just saying not everything needs to be a community. The word community needs to have some more meaning. The word community needs to refer to the first three seasons of the show community and nothing more. That's the rule. We're going to enforce that on the channel. And by the way, need I remind you that this is not a community. This is a show. This isn't a conversation. We're not on the Philip DeFranco show. This is a show. I talk, you listen. That's how it works. Deal. You got it? Good, 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 good. Anyway, I don't really know what to say in this situation anymore. I think I've beat this dead horse for long enough, but I would love for you guys to tell me what you think down in the comments below. I will definitely be reading through every single one of your comments because this issue is the issue of our time because it is the last issue that our society will ever have to deal with. And I just want to know your opinion. I want to know your thoughts. I want to know what you think about this whole controversy. Just let me know and please be funny, but don't. Don't be mean to the little girl because she's just a kid and she's raised in this society where every kid is infantilized into their 30s and they can't take any joke, any criticism, no matter how mild, even if it has nothing to do with their disability. They're always on guard and always oversensitive. We know that. Whatever, whatever. Just let me know in the comments. Be, be good people. Anyway, that's all I really have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, show me a like, like, subscribe for more content, follow me on my social media, support me via the support links in the description box of this video. This has been me talking about the whatever, whatever, whatever thing. Till next time.